So we are not talking about revelations that contradict. They are in full agreement. Now, my challenge with the Quran, my challenge with the Quran is this. There are major issues that make up the revelations from the Old Testament and the New Testament that the Quran contradicts. There are major issues in the Old Testament and the New Testament that the Quran agrees with. Whereas in the New Testament and Old Testament, there is no contradiction. Sir, I think I should give you time now, but I'm just going to say that to me proves that there is an issue with the Quran. Speak, sir. What is happening here? I'll give you man three minutes now. He hasn't put a single verse on it from the Bible. Single verse with the Bible. So when I debate, I want the proof. The Bible, first Thessalonians 5 21 said, proof all things. Quran say how to Quran a come. I'm going to quote now from the Quran and the Bible, give you a proof that the Bible, what you're saying, there is inconsistencies, contradictions between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I'm going to go to prove to you. Now, the Quran, with the Muslims, the Quran is the last and final revelation, which was revealed to the last and final prophet of Muhammad Islam. Yeah, we believe in all the old prophets. I mean, you don't make any mistakes of it, any of them. We believe in Isa. We call Jesus, alayhi salam, this morning. Yeah? As as we believe him as a messiah sent to the children of Israel. He never say he's God, he never say worship me. Yeah? The, if you read the God of Quran in Surah Ibrahim, uh, uh, Surah Ibrahim, Allah said that this Quran is a clear message to the whole of mankind. Let them take one in there from. Let them know that there is only one Allah and let the men of understanding take heed. The Quran, the, the word Quran is the Quran, the word Bible is not the Bible. Follow me the word of Quran in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter number 2, chapter number 2, verse number 185 says that, that Ramadan was the month in which the Holy Quran was revealed as a guidance for mankind and clear proof for the guidance and the criterion between you right and wrong. Follow me the word of Quran. It is mentioned in Surah Al Kalam, chapter number uh, 68. But it is nothing else but a message to Alamin, to mankind. You see, this is the last and final revelation. Yeah? In the Quran, as I said, Prophet Muhammad was sent to us. The last and final messenger sent to the whole of mankind. He wasn't sent to only to Arabs. In the Bible, Jesus said he was sent to the lost of house in Israel. He wasn't sent to you. The reader goes to that again, it is mentioned. In Surah Al-Anbiya, yeah. Chapter, chapter 21, verse number 107. Omar Arsal Naka Illa We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to mankind. For the Bible's Quran, it is better. In Surah Saba, chapter number 34, verse number 28. Omar Arsal Naka Illa Kafatel Linnasi Basira Wa Nasira Wa Mulakinna Asal Nasi La Yalamu. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings, they do not know. All the prophets in the Bible, they are all Muslims. All of them submit their will to Almighty God of Allah. As I said, he said, let me give you the contradiction between the Old and the New Testament. First, let me quote verse from the Bible. Why Jesus makes a distinction between me and Almighty God. He never says he's God, he never says worship me. You have to tell me why you think Jesus is God, go the Bible. Why do you worship him? Why do you think that he, he was fully God, fully man? The second passing of the Trinity called the Son. Give it a proof. You read the Bible. Jesus is himself. John 5 30. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me a Muslim. Jesus was sent by Almighty God. He never said he's God. He never said what's your name. According to these two verses extensively in John, John 8 40, Jesus said to his enemies, But now you seek to kill me, a man who has sold you the truth with the heart of God. John 8 42. Continue. John 8 42. Jesus said, If God were your father, you love me. For I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Who sent Jesus? Almighty God. When Jesus was in the earth, he had a God. He was in the God. How can he be God? How can he be the second person of the Trinity? God is Son. How could he be fully God, fully man, when he was called to Almighty God? John 20, 17. 
Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascended to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Can God have a God? What is the God? Thank you very much. I'm happy you said I did not make mention of any verse of scripture. But there are verses of scripture that back every single statement I made. So first and foremost, let's deal with one of the major issues I know you have a problem with. I've been in the past and you always, you always bring this up. So this is a prophecy. And many people have tried to debunk and misread this prophecy, but it's the prophecy and they can't change it. In Isaiah chapter 9, you all know, you know it very well, I know, verse 6, the Bible says this, King James Version. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Most God. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. That's a prophet Isaiah, the Seer prophet. That's a prophet. Now, first and foremost, where God is telling us, these are prophets of God, Isaiah. I think, I think we call him Isiaka. In, uh, in Arabic, Isaiah. No, 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 Isaiah. What's the name for Isaiah? In Arabic? So, Isaiah is a prophet that Islam and Muslims are supposed to regard, and he gave this prophecy. Now, there is an issue with this prophecy. This prophecy did not take place during the time of the Quran. <laughs> this prophecy took place during the time of the New Testament. So, if the weaknesses of the prophecy of a prophet that Islam regards took place beyond and far away, I think almost about how many years, maybe about 600 or so years, before the revelator of the Quran, who really does not write, but was spoken to by an angel and spoke to others who wrote it down in Arabic because he could not read or write. Now, that is testimony I'm sorry I cannot agree with. Not only because of the time frame, one, but because living weaknesses in the New Testament, during the times of the New Testament, witnesses were present and they wrote about this. A prophecy that was many hundreds of years yes, before. Man. Give it to him, my brother. Yes. Tell him. <laughs> Evidence of something that is not natural, but is supernatural. That's One minute, sir, please. please. I'll, 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 I will, I will allow you to. I'll, I'll come to you. To. What I'll, at least I'll come to you. I'll, I'll need you to talk to you. So, my issue is this. The Quran disagrees with the fact that a son God has allowed his son to be born. But the Quran agrees that this virgin birth that bears evidence of a Messiah shall take place. You can't accept part of the evidence of the uh, part of the instruction that is a prophecy. You can't uh, you know you can't accept some of it and deny the rest of it. And because I know your religion regards this prophet. You cannot accept that what he said is right in part and is wrong in part. That's part one. I think I've spoken about that minutes. I'll come to some other things. Let me allow you, sir. Go ahead, sir. That's one. Go ahead. So, so what is happening here? I'm going to address. I'm going to give my say something about Isaiah 9, 6. I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to give my brother here. You give me He's going to comment on this. Isaiah 9, 6. You see, according to the, you know, the Christians, in their Bible, as I nine six, I'm going to quote it. They always go to the Christians around the world. All the all the preachers, let me finish, will go back to as I nine six said. As I nine six is a prophet prophecy which speaks about Jesus Christ. Jesus, yeah. Jesus Christ. As I nine six, let me read it. In the English Bible, it's different from the from the Jewish Bible. Different. This is what as I nine six said in the, in this Bible said. 
for until us a child is born, until us a son is given, and the government will be or shall be on his shoulder. And he will be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. But because remember, Isaiah is a prophecy. Now, my brother, look at me. It's a prophecy. If you can show me a single verse where anybody called Jesus, mighty God, everlasting father, and become a Christian, it's a prophecy. Simple English. He will be called. Show me anyone who called Jesus, mighty God, everlasting father, and become a Christian.